Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. I'm Vanessa Canvey. Some people have been asking for a hair growth update since I shaved my hair off in, I think I shaved it off in October of last year. I'll, I'll make a link in the description box below of my head shave video if you want to watch that and you can see how long my hair was before and you know, getting it shaved off. As you can see, my hair has grown. <laughs> That, do you know what? The reason why I haven't actually done this video previous to now is because I'm like, my hair is growing, like, what have I got to say about it? But I realised that people actually want to know a bit more about it and how much it's grown. So obviously I shaved all my hair off in, I think it was October of last year. Was it? Yeah, October 2017. But I kept it shaved, so I went back and got it shaved again, shaved again, shaved again until December. I decided it was just too much, like keeping it blonde was just too much. To keep it absolutely peroxide blonde, really short, I had to get it dyed like every one and a half to two weeks, which is ridiculous, like that is so much upkeep that I just didn't have the time to do that I thought, okay, so what can I do? I didn't like it black and really short, so I was like, okay, I'll leave it a bit to grow, keep it blonde and then dye it brown. You can see here, oh my gosh, these nails need done. But anyway, as you can see, like here, you can see the bits that were blonde and have been dyed brown. In February, I shaved it all down to a four or a six, I can't remember. So basically since February till now, so February, March, April, May, June, so four months, this is four months hair growth. And it has grown loads. Like, let me get close. So the back is really long. Well, <laughs> I say really long. So this is the back. It's maybe like one, two, three, I'm really not good at centimetres, maybe like five centimetres at the back. And the top I feel like is even longer. So, I don't know what that is. But basically like, it is much longer than it seems because it's curly. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. How do these girls that literally do like, like hair videos manage it? So I have been using, I wash it maybe like every week and a half, but I probably wet it like twice a week. And I have been using this olive oil shampoo and conditioner, which don't know if I'm convinced about it. Sometimes I feel like I come out the shower and my hair still feels a bit dry. I don't really know if I would recommend it to be honest. I'd maybe try something else. I need to go and get something else. I've, Honestly, do you know what is my absolute favourite hair product is Cantu Cream. It's the best thing ever. It keeps my hair in curls, but I've not been able to get it in Edinburgh. Apparently it's meant to be in boots and things like that, but I've, every boots I've been into, it's not into, so I need to just order it online. What I have been using is an olive oil foam. I'll show you it. This is what I put on my hair after I come out of the shower. And this definitely keeps the curl. But what I would say about it is that it leaves a sort of wet look if you're into that. I'm not that keen on having my hair still looking wet when it's dry, but if you like that wet look, then I would recommend that Wrap Set Mousse by Olive Oil. I also have been putting oil in my hair, so Moroccan oil and Argan oil in every time I wash it or sometimes just any time I wet it and come out of the shower. So that's probably like a couple of times a week. Obviously I shower more than that. <laughs> yeah, no, if I get a chance, no, I'm joking. I do shower more than that, but I don't put it on my hair every single day. If anyone's got any tips for me on what to put in my hair or how they think it can grow faster. To be honest, I'm not, I, the funny thing about me is like, I'm not actually desperate for it to grow faster. You know, some people are like, I w you know, I want my hair to grow faster. That's not me, because I'm enjoying it short and I'm scared to actually get it cut now because a lot of people don't know how to cut afro hair here and I've had 
terrible experiences in the past so I'm just like I may as well let it grow unless I'm shaving off which is just a simple easy job that I can even do here because it's all the same length trying to actually cut any sort of a shape is just a no-go so yeah that is basically a uh, well if I cut it in October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June this is basically sort of like a six month update from when I cut my hair completely off although I've cut it once since then so let's say it's a five month update from when I cut all my hair off I know that was short but I hope that answers some of your questions and you know you can see my hair maybe let me do a 360 can you even see hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you did thanks guys bye